whenever you do anything like this or anything else, uh, it's like, who knows where you're going to end up? Who knows what's going to happen? It's a good story. Why shouldn't, why shouldn't we tell it? We left uh, the frozen north, I'll call it, Port Townsend, Friday Harbor, uh, during a pouring rainstorm. A little bit late in the season, October 25th, to be heading down the coast. The original leave date was like the middle of September, which is still good weather into summer. We didn't quite make that because we had tons of things to do and uh, couldn't do another winter up there with all the, uh, you know, you would be in some place and married and divorced and kids and stuff. A lot of memories, I said. And it's cold up in the Pacific Northwest in winter. Some people are affected by it, some aren't. I am. And I decided, uh, heck with that, just go do something a little more fun than hanging around up there in the rain and thinking of memories coming and going, you know? So I did that. So, crew for, uh, from Friday Harbor uh, down to uh, San Diego included my daughter, Morgan, Captain Morgan, by the way, she got her captain's license, a hell of a sailor, and her, her son, my grandson, Rowan, who we call the Admiral, because he acts like the Admiral, he's totally in charge of everything, and uh, Jordan, the Viking, called him the Viking, Will, Mason, and uh, Connor. So we uh, got our crew together, uh, we've got a new got an autopilot and radar installed finally. Uh, we've got the decks uh, seamed about a thousand times, painting and varnishing and provisioning. And so we left uh, in a pouring down rainstorm, Friday Harbor, and headed uh, out the straits. Yeah, there was kind of some anxiousness about it because uh, we had a window of about theoretically five to seven days of reasonably good weather after this one storm came through and dissipated. So uh, then after that, uh, according to the weather, it was like rain today, rain the next day, rain the next day, little rain and lots of rain the next day. Rain till March, basically, or June, really, with sun breaks sometime in April. We are right now, right here in the beautiful San Juan Islands, and we're gonna head out to Straits of Juan de Fuca. It's about 90 miles out, uh, around Cape Flattery here. Spend the night at Nia Bay before we head out. Go out around the islands in the point and pointer south. And we're going to continue down all the way down the coast of Washington, passing the Columbia River Bar, down the coast of Oregon, passing um, Cape Mendocino, which is going to be tons of fun. And then we're going to end up, hopefully within a week, anchored right there at Drake's Bay in that little hook. We're going to rest up, have a couple shots of tequila, and then the next day we're going into San Francisco into the Golden Gate Bridge. And picked up a couple new crew members. Uh, one uh, Susan and uh, Laura. From there we head on down, spend a couple days Santa Cruz, down points, down the Big Sur coast, rounding Point Conception, which can be the hairiest spot on the west coast. And from there, we take our time down at Catalina on the north side and Avalon, and then head on over to Dana Point, and then end up in San Diego, where we'll do the last provisioning in the United States, get our permits for crossing, et cetera, et cetera, and from there to Ensenada. 
turns out, of, after all my planning, and this is kind of funny, after all my planning and visualizing and putting things together and la la la, uh, with videos and YouTube and social media and core crew and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, I ended up in San Diego <laughs> on the schooner, uh, totally on my, by myself. Uh, Morgan, my daughter, and grandson got off there, and Jordan, and unfortunately uh, lost the other two crew there. Laura and Mason decided that uh, they had other things they wanted to do. Mason and Laura had formed kind of a little romantic uh, liaison on the boat uh, against my best wishes, better wishes, and uh, so uh, they decided that they, w they were going to get off the, the boat, which was unfortunate and which left me basically crewless at that point in San Diego, just getting ready to go down across the border to Mexico. Uh, a week later, uh, unfortunately, uh, Susan also retreated and uh, went back to her uh, comfort level. It was kind of a, an awakening experience, and I kind of, it was, it was sad in a way, but also laughable. It's like, you have to be kidding. You have to be kidding. <laughs> It's, somebody said, make a, you know how you make God laugh? Just make a plan. And uh, it's totally true, actually. <laughs> I believe in a laughing God, yes. <laughs> I, believe, I believe that God or the gods have, have senses of humor, and they must get a hell of a kick out of this whole thing. Turns out I end up in San Diego totally <laughs> on my own, all crew gone, uh, including Susan. Uh, and I was there for a week, just like, now what the hell? We were trying to get the crew for a week after I was totally on my own on the boat. Uh, I finally gave up. So I left, uh, I pulled the dock lines at 3 o'clock uh, a.m., motored out the uh, harbor and passed all the buoys, etc., and spent all day uh, taking the schooner down to Ensenada. Hauled the boat out on a, on the, 22nd of December on a Thursday morning and uh, that evening before that I, had a, I was sitting there uh, playing an old guitar and having a cup of tea and there was a knock on the hull and I'll be a son of a gun if it wasn't old Mason and Laura. They had got on a boat in San Diego, some fellow heading uh, south to God knows where and, and they would come into the exact same boatyard, marina, for, uh, to tie up for a couple of days or whatever. They really wanted to come back, and uh, so Laura committed to to be, be more involved. So we shall we say. I welcomed Laura and uh, Mason back on the boat. They pulled, they got their gear off the other boat and came back. We hauled the boat the next morning uh, and spent a week, including Christmas, painting the topsides again, getting the bottom painted by the boatyard, doing some boat stuff, and uh, doing crew search, get more crew from leaving in Sonata. Uh, it, was, it was kind of a kind of a bitch actually because it was holiday season and I don't know what everybody else is doing on holiday. I don't know why there weren't all bottom painting over Christmas. But uh, one fella, uh, Spencer, uh, who had just spent a year putting together a video that I watched, it was quite good, of his uh, expedition with the uh, race to Alaska with three other guys on an Olson 30 and he had done a done a video of it and put the whole thing together and is trying to uh, see if he can basically become a filmmaker so he was about it and he actually was down visiting family in Alabama and said he could go up to Vancouver grab his gear and uh, come on down in Ensenada right after uh, New Year's so I said let's let's do it and I'll believe it when, I, when you show up, basically. And I'd be a son of a bitch if he didn't show up uh, the 2nd of January with this stuff. Uh, another fellow named Bill, who's a friend of a friend of mine. He, he's not a sailor, but done a lot of canoe work and et cetera, et cetera. So he joined us. And with Laura and Mason and Spencer and Bill, we fueled up the tanks after launching on the uh, on the first, actually on the second, and uh, headed down the coast from Ensenada. Mm -hmm.